Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? The uh, New Orleans Saints, we told you last week, were uh, scheduling interviews with Brian Flores, Aaron Glenn, and Dennis Allen. Uh, there are now two more names formally in that mix. Uh, Mike Garofola from NFL Network uh, just tweeted a bit ago, special teams coordinator Darren Rizzi will interview for the team's head coaching job later this week. Rizzi has been with New Orleans since 2019, shortly after he interviewed for the Dolphins' head coaching job. It is worth mentioning that Mickey Loomis, when he met with the media on Friday, did in fact say that Dennis Allen was a, a really good candidate, and he mentioned other people in-house were also good candidates. So Rizzi is one, apparently, that's going to get an interview. I don't know if he's got a great shot of getting the job, but sometimes when your name is mentioned for a job and you get an interview, even if it's a courtesy, it puts your name in the mix for that job, and then other people become aware of you even if they had not prior been. So I don't know that Darren Rizzi is like a real legitimate, has a real legitimate chance at getting this, this job, but just him being interviewed formally and being in the mix does Darren Rizzi a very sol a, a solid, as he's been a good coach with the Saints, and they're getting him this opportunity. What has happened now, according to Ian Rappaport, is that Doug Peterson has interviewed for the Saints coaching job. As we mentioned, um, Flores, Glenn, and Allen are all set to interview, but Doug Peterson interviewed over the weekend. Apparently, they, they spoke with him on Sunday. Um, I, I'm The thing that I find most interesting about the Doug Peterson uh, candidacy is that he's the outlier. Here's what I mean. Brian Flores, Aaron Glenn, Dennis Allen. All defensive guys. All three of those are defensive, are defensive coaches. Darren Rizzi is your special teams coordinator. Doug Peterson is the only offensive coach that we've heard mentioned so far. I mean, we can throw out names. I mean, I think Eric Bieniemy is going to be a great coach one day. We could we could throw out his name, but I'm saying of the names that have formally been connected with this job where the Saints have formally requested an interview or have spoken with that candidate, Peterson is the only offensive coach. So the biggest question is, what do the Saints want? Do they want an offensive coach or do they want a defensive coach? Do they want to keep Pete Carmichael as OC so you hire a defensive head coach to keep Carmichael and let that offensive machine run the way it is? Or do you want an offensive coach that's going to come in and, and run his offense? And there's benefits, there's pros and cons to both, like with most things in life. But if you want a defensive head coach, and you can keep that offensive structure in place. The great thing is your terminology doesn't change, your structure system, all that's it stays the same. If Pete Carmichael stays as your OC, you keep continuity. The downside is there is no big-name quarterback that's coming to New Orleans because of Pete Carmichael. I don't mean that in any way to be disrespectful. The guy has been riding sidecar with Sean Payton for 16 years, and he even called plays in this offense. But... From a perception standpoint, Sean Payton is one of the greatest offensive minds of this or any generation. You're not going to get Russell Wilson here to play under Pete Carmichael like you could have with Sean Payton. That's just reality. So which do you prefer? Do you prefer structure or do you prefer the opportunity to go big at quarterback? Peterson is intriguing because I think he would be the name that could lure an Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Peterson was, a, I mean, not that there's a connection there, but he was Brett Favre's backup in Green Bay. Um, he's won a Super Bowl as a head coach, an offensive guy, a play caller. 
he could lure. He'd be appealing to Rodgers or to Russ or to Deshaun Watson, more so than what the Saints currently have. But that also doesn't mean it's a guarantee that you would get one of those big names. Y'all, there are, there are only seven active coaches that have won a Super Bowl. Belichick, Arians, Reed, Carroll, McCarthy, Tomlin, and John Harbaugh. That's it. That's it. Doug Peterson has done something that not many coaches in the history of this game have done. He has won a Super Bowl, and he did it improbably, beating the Patriots and doing so with a backup quarterback. So there's a lot of appeal there with Doug Peterson because he scaled the mountain. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that he's my favorite, like he's the guy that I would hire, but if they do pick Doug Peterson, I'd be good with it. Because there's a lot of reasons to look at that and say, this guy's run a successful organization. He's won at the highest level. He's won a Super Bowl. He's an offensive guy. He can attract quarterbacks and offensive players. And the reason it didn't go well in Philly or it ended the way it did is you didn't have synergy alignment with ownership, front office, and head coach. You had disagreements, and it caused that that fracture, which happens. Hell, it happened in New England with Belichick and Brady. It happened with the greatest ever. Well, you have really good structure and alignment in place in New Orleans. You know, maybe that's a p- attractive to a guy like Doug Peterson. Which, which is more desirable? What do the Saints want? Do they want an offensive-minded head coach? Because their list doesn't speak to that. Their list says Flores, Glenn, Dennis Allen, Darren Rizzi. It says defense. And then Doug Peterson, the only guy who's actually gotten an interview, is the only offensive guy on the list. And if it's him, I'd be good with it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.